Hi right, guys, we're here once again, and this is Rich with his Ultimate Zogin Turbo Deck profile. <laughs> Is this deck any good? This is a, like a really weird idea. What's the... Um, uh, so, you summon that, don't you? And then... Yeah. But you, 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 the, the idea of the game... <laughs> What's the idea of that? Other than, other than summoning this? It's basically, you summon Ultimate Tolkien, make win. something on your turn, and then make something on your opponent's turn, and just win, basically. Like, you can snowball off of that quite easily, because you get negation for days. Because you set, when you set a card, you trigger that, don't you? Yes. And on your opponent's turn, uh, does that mean you play text that does that? Yeah, there, there's many a card that can set in your opponent's turn. <laughs> okay, awesome. Uh, are you ready to do that profile and yeah. do some explanations as well for combos? Uh, I don't know. It's okay. a bit weird. Three can stall a cow. Yes, why this? Uh, basically, just because you can uh, normal summon it and it's level five. Well, it's a level four, but you can increase its level by one. Okay. So you turn it into a level five. Yeah. The downside is you can't synchro with it, but Zolkin is basically a. Uh, it's like a, ta a tag sort of thing. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not a proper synchro. No, it's, it's considered a special summon, so yeah, it doesn't work. So you can use that, actually. That's interesting. Bye-bye. Uh, two wind-up soldier. It's a bit profile, but okay. Let's interrupt uh, exactly the same reason. It's a normal summon go that up. can uh, yeah. go up a level. It's a non-tuner? Yeah. Okay. Uh, three quick draw. Okay, this is the Monarch, Monarch Blazers card, but it's like... Pitch it's, card, don't you? Blazers. It's basically for the exact same reason. Yeah. Uh, you can special it and it's a tuner, level 5, so yeah. it makes you Zolkins quite easily. You can search it as well, can't you? Uh, yes, Quick. with tuning. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Blackwing uh, <laughs> Decay of the Ill Wind. Yeah. Again, this is another card that is increases level by 1. Yeah. Uh, you do take a, a 1k at the end of the turn, yeah. but um, if you make Clear Wing, you can just negate it for yeah. fun. So it's not too bad. Uh, it's a tuner, isn't it? Yeah, it's a tuner card. as well. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Three red layer because special summon level five. Like, yeah. let's be honest, yeah. it's pretty relevant. Um, onto the artifacts. Uh, oh, you play artifacts. Yes, because okay. they're level fives and it, it helps with setting cards in your opponent's hand. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Morale tech because um, it's a one and it's broken. Yeah. Uh, fail not. Why this one? Uh, this card. Uh, if you if you sanctum it in your opponent's turn, yeah. you set an artifact. Fact, and it triggers all the uh, ultimate token, so it's like it's pretty legit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, legit. Lancia. Um, this will be changed soon, to be honest. As soon as we get Gofu, this is one of the first. Gofu go. is that like one of the new cards? There you go. Uh, yes. What does that uh, card do? It's a it's level a black five. Wing. Black wing. It's a black wing. <laughs> yeah, it's a black wing. Danny, right there with black wings. Uh, it's a level 5 uh, tuner that can be spec from hand, but, so it's really simple to like start off with. So it game. helps the deck quite a bit. It's like yeah. red layer, but yeah, yeah. Uh, a tuner, alright. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. So that'll be moving. Okay. Uh, 3 scythe, because stopping your opponent from going next to deck is pretty important. Yeah, oh, pretty good. Uh, one max C. This is basically just to, uh, it's just a filler again. Yeah. So you're ready for the next sound guessing for Gofu? Yeah, yeah. As soon as Gofu comes in, like, I've got three cards to take out and yeah. it'll be pretty easy. Okay. Uh, Maxi might be one of them. Triple Sanctum. Of course. Because Artifacts. Yeah. Uh, works with Feonor, as I said. It's really good. Mm -hmm. uh, Scrap Iron Scarecrow. Two of these. What? Okay, this is from the 5 D's era. So this card, um, it basically, whenever they declare an attack, yeah. you negate the attack and then it resets itself. Yeah. So it triggers uh, Zolkin. Yeah. yeah, all right. It so triggers Zolkin again. So, so it's, it's another one to get in your opponent. So it's like a battle, sort of like a battle fighter or a magic Yeah, sort of, yeah. It's really fun. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, one solemn warning, one solemn strike. Yeah. Because I've only got one strike, but yeah. to be honest, uh, I don't think I'd run more than one anyway. All right. It's all right. It's not really the part of the reason. It's not a Combo yeah. piece. Yeah, yeah, that's it. All right. Uh, triple artifact ignition. Yeah. Uh, it's MST, and uh, you set a uh, artifact yeah, from your deck. So once again, it triggers. So it triggers Zolkin again. 
Uh, pretty legit. Yeah. Uh, triple tuning to search out your uh, quick draw. Um, that's pretty simple. Just roll to for that guy. Yeah. Ten key to search out your cows. Oh yeah, because he's a bees warrior. Because yeah, he's a bees warrior. So two order, not three. Uh, no, just two. You, okay. you don't need three because you run three cows, so it's fine. So yeah. All right. Uh, one rotor to search your wind-up soldier. <laughs> so you have all these rotor types and yeah. anyway. So it's, and quite, it's quite consistent, I'm guessing. Yeah. Because you got a rotor for quick draw, you got a rotor for the non-tuners, you got a rotor for the tuners. Yeah. So that's it. Makes sense. It's, it's pretty legit. Okay. Uh, two instant fusion because we run a level five fusion in there. That yeah. It's it's basically another level five special summonable monster. It's pretty good. Uh, one Raigeki again. I don't think I really need not, this card. You might drop this one when you yeah. get Okay, I, interesting. I think it, because it, it's more of a go, uh, go first sort of uh, deck, mm. it, uh, I don't think it's quite as like relevant. Uh, that's the main deck. Yeah. Onto the extra. Two Zulkin, because that's the entire uh, tie rider of the deck. Uh, <laughs> one of the legit Tolkien. <laughs> right, so how do you pronounce this card's name? Oh, God. Hold <laughs> um, on, I've got to move the thing. Sorry. You can't even read it from the sleeve. Phantasmal Lord Ultimittal Bish Balkin. Bish Balkin. Good luck. Good luck. Is you rarely ever make what, this? What does it do? I don't think anyone knows what this does except you. So it can't be destroyed by card effects. Um, the only way to summon it is by a level eight uh, tuner and a level eight non and, and a level eight non tuner. Yes, be eight. Can it be higher? Uh, eight or higher. Yeah. Eight or higher. Okay. But they have to be the same level. <laughs> Um, in this in this deck is eight, uh, for example. Yeah. Um, it's pretty legit. Like it can ruin BA's days because you can just spe uh, the idea of the card is uh, you fill your uh, board with um, tokens and uh, you uh, you basically put the same amount of tokens on your opponent's side of the field. There's zero zero uh, tokens, level one. As um, many tokens as you summon yeah, on yeah, your side to yeah. your opponents. All right. Uh, it gains one k for. Every uh, uh, every card on the uh, Why are you every monster on the attack? field, including yourself, including itself. Yeah. yeah. So it's all zero attack. By yeah, default. zero uh, zero attack. I'm guessing you um, get it up to like ten grand. You can get it up to ten k, <laughs> but like you wouldn't have got it. It's it's very hard. It's really yeah. hard to yeah. do. And to be honest, like it's it's not really going to happen that much. Mm. It's just a fun little tech card. I like it. It's yeah. it's fun when you summon it and people are like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Reaction, I don't yeah. know what this card does. Yeah, it's pretty legit. Read it. Um, Alright, so one of that for, yeah. for jokes. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Black Rose Moonlight, because yeah. it's pretty relevant. Oh, like, you can just uh, shuffle away stuff. It's pretty good. Uh, it's uh, obviously summonable by Tolkien. In fact, all of the synchros in this deck is apart from one. Yeah. Uh, well, two, technically, including uh, the Phantasmal Lord one. Yeah. Uh, one starter spark. Okay. To be honest, I'm undecided whether to run this or run just Stardust Dragon. The normal Stardust Dragon. Yeah, because okay. I mean they're both like got their own little ways the, yeah, of working. Yeah, one's better, one, one's better in one way, one better, one's better in the other. Like, yeah. I've, I've been trying this out, but I'm not 100. percent I might go back to Stardust, see how it goes. Okay. Uh, yeah. One Clear Wing because of course. Clear Wing. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> this deck just really strong card. This format shits it out pretty much. Yeah. Uh, one Void Ogre, because you run so many like settable cards, uh, this is really, really, really strong. So it negates spells and transforms, but uh, yeah. you've got no cards in there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's also a 3k defense, 3K, so it's, 3K. it's quite a... Uh, uh, probably these two are my most like first turn summoned ones. Yeah. Well, you can consistently get two of them out. Uh, more. Well, like, um, usually I go for this first, yeah. and then maybe make this on uh, on their turn, or the oh, other way yeah, around. Yeah, it just depends. Yeah, because you make stuff on them. Because it, it just depends whether you get the, uh, like, if you get enough to d uh, set stuff, like, it's quite relevant. All right. Yeah, that's that. Yeah. Um, I don't really summon this much. Uh, it's Hot all right. <laughs> it can get you out of some situations, I'm sure, but I've, I've never actually summoned it myself, personally. Okay. Not yet. Yeah, anyway, it's not become relevant. Um, so you might swap that for maybe something yeah, else. Yeah. Do you have the other one Possibly. in mind? Uh, 
uh, maybe uh, I might go for uh, Michael or something like that. The, the lights one, lights one guy. Oh, yeah. uh, cuz banishing a card can be quite relevant. Okay. I'm I'm not 100% I'll I'll change stuff when I get to it. Uh, one life stream dragon. This is my <laughs> this is my level 8 tuner. That's for the ultimate or yeah, bish for, bash for the big guy. Yeah. Um Babush. his he doesn't really have an effect either. At, at best he's like a 2/9 beat stick. His effect is only when he's synchro summoned, so it so doesn't you don't actually get the effect. effect yeah. Oh. But it's a level 8 tuner, so you can just make the big guy. Uh, one Beals, because Beals is really strong. Uh, yeah. Not every deck can get around this card. Yeah, but you can get ruined by some. If they make a flare metal, you <laughs> <The> OTK <laughs> against yourself. Okay. This guy. Um, okay. What the hell? <laughs> it's level 10, right? So you can't summon that off thing. No, but for half, from half of the deck, like you can summon it. It's a diff It's an alternate. Um, it's all right. Can't be destroyed by battle. I think. Is it battle? Yeah, can't be destroyed by battle. And when it destroys something, it can make a second attack on a monster. Yeah, so it's 4k quite, as well. Yeah, so it's 4k. <laughs> and uh, once per turn, you can half the attack of all monsters. Uh, I think it's all monsters, or is it a target one? Uh, target one face. Uh, mo yeah. <laughs> Do you ever summon this card? I've not summoned it yet. Oh, that's why you're reading it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you target one and half its attack. So to summon it, you need. I think you need one dark one tuna dark tuna and one non uh, non tuna dragon type. Yeah. So we'll get to the the targets in a okay. minute. Um, yeah, if you're yeah, you can halve it, a permanent halve as well, so if, if they've got some of this like, unkillable, it's quite relevant. It's 4k as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, it's not. Artifact Durendal, because legit. <laughs> and Arbyos lost uh, level 5, of course, you can also XYZ. Yeah, level. yeah, it's also yeah. the fact that you can turn like most effects into MST yeah. as well. And, and it's an artifact, so, and you yeah, have an yeah. artifact engine in the Yeah, deck, yeah, so, so like, it's really relevant. Yeah. It's quite good. The, the shuffle hand effect is good if you've like bricked yeah. quite hard. Yeah. It's alright. I've, I've not really used the shuffle hand to like negate my opponent's stuff yet. Like if they have like a hand trap or something, I've not done it yet. That sort of thing. Um, oh, this yeah. one. Yeah. One uh, Magna Liger, because you can make him, you can even make him with the red layer, so you get, yeah. he gets his quick play effect. So it's live. Yep. Yeah. It's pretty good. Um, Pops monster. Usually, like, uh, as I haven't got the other tuner, these two are usually uh, quite often a first turn play. Oh, really? Instead of the. Well, it, if you can't make the Zulkin, but you've got two fives. Two not, make, one's not, because you don't have a tuner, for example. You, you can still do quite a lot with these two, like, they're yeah, pretty strong yeah, for, yeah, like, stalling out. Yep. The amount of times I've just won off of one of those is quite uh, interesting. Uh, two alligator sword dragons. Wow, so, so this, that's your instant fusion target. That is my instant fusion target. Uh, it's a dragon, so you can summon this guy off of it. So it's for this guy. Uh, pretty much, that's yeah. the only reason. Um, I did try Panzer Dragon, and at one time when I didn't have Panzer Dragons, <laughs> I was running Winder, which was fun. <laughs> It was just for no reason though, like, it was just a level 5 that you could feel uh, instant fusion. Um, Non-tuner. I wish we got a tuner. I think, that, I think that would be too broken though, that's it the It might thing. be, yeah. Uh, instant fusion would be a really good card now. Like, uh, if there was though, it would be great for the stage, level 5 especially. Yeah, basically the, the other target for the, um, for the big guy, the 4k beta, is uh, Earl of Decay Wind. So. The Blackwing guy. Yeah. Is, is Gopher dark? Of course it is. Go Gopher is dark, yeah. Alright. Well, mate, Aurora's not dark. <laughs> is it not? No, it's light. What the hell? Yeah, that's some bad. black wing trivia for you. All right. That's it. Yeah. Any, so yeah, uh, other than go, other than go through terrible. for the next set, any other improvements for this deck? You think, Rich? Um, and more BLM. Well, might, people might want to try out this deck. <laughs> any other suggestions? I might try out an instant fusion build. Uh, not instant fusion. Brilliant fusion build. Oh yeah, brilliant fusion. I, I don't know. Um, I feel like it's all right as it is because it seems quite consistent. Mm. And with go through, it's a lot more consistent because yeah. from it. Yeah, it's just like. All you need is a special and a normal summon, and yeah. you've got you've got oh, Ultimate yeah. so so quickly. Um, I don't know. That's about it, really. All right, that's awesome. That's the uh, Ultimate Zulkin Turbo deck profile by Rich. Thanks, man. Yeah. That's alright.